morning, this is Joe with Lock It Up, and uh, welcome to another beautiful morning in Central Texas. We got quite the beautiful background of our actually having some clouds in the sky and nice early uh, sunrise. But you know, welcome. Hope you're all having a great day. Uh, once again, in a local uh, neighborhood, still under construction. We still got some houses being built, and then we got most of them being complete, and still some empty lots and nice area uh, this is like the very back right corner of it and we'll travel further down you need to be able to see the the part that's been here for a little bit these are relatively new i think only about two years old or so but you know it's fun they got sidewalks the further we go down these like you know while they're under construction they haven't really put the sidewalks in yet so you know me i love a good sidewalk so we'll get on those and be able to enjoy the rest of this uh community as we <clears throat> walk through bless the oaks you know, joe what are your hobbies what are you into i was thinking about that last night so i wanted to share and so one of my big tv shows and movies that i enjoy is the whole star wars almost all of it we'll get into that but you gotta think about you know when i grew up and when star wars came out you know late right before you know 2000 you know i would only been about nine years old so that's when the first star wars movie came out or the first episode and so prior to that you know i'm not too sure if i did watch you know four five and six and i probably did but i didn't really pay attention uh but the real uh, starting point would have been you know episode one which is then legitimately the start of the whole series, the whole trilogy and all that good stuff. And so, you know, I think depending on when you are exposed to, you know, your first Star Wars, then really sets in the, the tone of your appreciation towards it and your relatability to the characters and such. And so, you know, a lot of people really love four, five, and six. While to me, important, they didn't really grasp my imagination the uh, my ability to connect with the characters because you know they're older characters you know like teenagers young adult they you know somewhere around those lines and so i wasn't there yet i was still a young kid so you know i just didn't relate to that yet but you know i get to episode one i get to relate to anakin skywalker who you don't even meet until later on in the movie so, you know, you kind of get the build up, you kind of get the start, you kind of get the storyline. And then it develops into, because, you know, you got Obi Wan, Qui Gon, and, you know, they're dealing with some stuff, and then they so happen to stumble upon Anakin Skywalker. And so then that's, you know, as a kid, I'm like, whoa, you know, who's this kid? What's he doing? And so then that's, to me at that point, a relatable character. And you find out more about him through all of the Star Wars is after, essentially. Uh, you know, to me, you know, Anakin Skywalker is then the most, you know, essentially, all of the Star Wars movies are related to Anakin and his effect on, you know, the Force and all that. So. You know, in episode one, you get to see the start of Anakin. He's hopeful and bright and, you know, he has the potential and all that good stuff. And it's like, you know, as a young kid, you're like, yeah, yeah, me too. Same here. And then, you know, episode two, you get to see him be a little bit more like a teenager, you know. And, uh, as I grew up, I was then relatable to that storyline of, you know, falling in love and all of that stuff and having a girlfriend. And then, you know, <clears throat> kind of that, I mean, not like I was ever as emotionally based as Anakin. But I mean, you gotta understand his point, you know, where he's coming from and what he's experiencing. And so, you know, episode two really starts to develop that story of what Anakin goes through, what his challenges are, what he's forced to do, you know, how he's battling this, you know, he's trying to be a good Jedi, but then he's trying to be a person, you know? And then, all that really gets put to the test in episode three. Episode three, you know, the tipping point is that, you know, the Jedi Council didn't stick to proper procedure. 
they made an adjustment. They, you know, you could say they made a bad call, which then ended up ruining it for everybody, right? You know, they, they toyed with them. They did something that they knew was going to piss them off. It was almost like it was on purpose. It was like, oh, we're going to test you to see if this is going to piss you off. We know it's going to. Oh, such a shocker that you lost your shit. Yeah, okay. So, on with that. And then you get to see, I think, for me, episode three would then be the most pivotal part of the whole genre, where you see the transformation from Anakin to then Darth Vader. And then that's where four, five, and six come in. And, you know, four, five, and six come out first. And with the technology that I had then to make those films then, the amount of effort they had to go through to get the shots and to get the action scenes and all that, they had to go through a lot. It was all hand-built stuff, handmade stages, but they had to move every single little piece, one piece at a time to get those looks of it being real. And I mean, they had to do a whole bunch of, you know, really cool filming to make it happen, stage development and all that stuff. And so, could they have done the action scenes of like the Clone Wars with that back then? Probably not, you know? So, I don't want to say 4, 5, and 6 had a more personal, more tight filming. You know, it wasn't these big shots or anything like that. It was like smaller, more intimate storyline. And they didn't really have the biggest you know, action scenes, a couple good ones, I mean, a couple great ones, but, you know, they weren't overly complex, they were very simplistic, you know, it was the rebel fights, it was, you know, when the Empire was weaker, you know, they didn't have to show, like, the big force-on-force -force battles like the Clone Wars, so, you know, luckily, they went with those because they were able to make the most out of them with the technology they had back then, so, that's why I'm okay with 4, 5, and 6 coming out when they did, the way they did it, because the technology they had, they weren't going to be able to create the elaborate Clone Wars until the early 2000s and so on. And then we go from there. The new movies of, you know, the Disney franchise with Rey and all that. And I couldn't connect. I couldn't enjoy the storyline. It's like, you know, I don't think it was until the last episode where you get to see Han Solo. You're like, oh, hey, this is my kid. And that whole battle. That was the only thing, like, relatable to me because then that felt something more familiar from, like, you know, the earlier movies. And so... Oh, he's slow. So, yeah, like, all of those were, you know, not relatable to me. It wasn't something that fit you know, they tried, you know, it was, it was like all the pieces were almost there. And yeah, I've, it just really didn't connect. It didn't really finish the storyline as it was, you know, intended to finish the storyline. You know, just, it was a little bit more storyline based. There wasn't a whole lot of action. It was very like emotional, uh, challenging for the character to, I guess come to the realization that she was related to Palpatine and all that stuff. But it didn't really quite finish off strong like we would hope for, you know. And then we got all the TV shows. And TV shows I enjoy because it gives you more storyline and more character development for you then understand, you know, what those characters did on a day-to-day -day basis. And I mean, I'm sure there's a thousand different ways, a thousand different points of time where you could start up the story and how you wanted to run with it. But, you know, I feel like they've done a great time, a great ability to take their time and do those storylines. And you can have people that are yay or nay on the outcome. But I mean, I'm, I enjoy them. And then you had the cartoon, which was the Clone Wars, which was like my absolute favorite. I didn't even know about it until I think my kid was about five. So it might have been about five years ago. And, you know, he would, I would wa watch it during like his summer break because I would be in like in school. And so in the mornings we'd watch that. And so that's what really uh, 
won me over is all the Clone Wars stuff. If you can give me just an endless amount of Clone Wars storylines and all that, I'm, I'm there for it. But, you know, so we can go into more about, you know, every single movie and the, the characters within those movies and, you know, how I relate to them, how I see their character, how I, you know, appreciate the storyline that, you know, built it, you know, and then, you know, th what story is it trying to tell? You know, and not why is it like relatable, maybe something I've seen or, you know, appreciate. And so, yeah, let me know what your favorite uh, Star Wars episode, TV show, cartoon, book. I've done a couple books. Uh, the only one, there's like a Darth Maul one was the only one that I was hoping it was gonna be a little bit more high action. It was good, but it wasn't like Darth Maul-y enough, you know? Darth Maul's supposed to just be super raw and crazy and this was a very tame mild book and I don't want to ruin the story for you if you hadn't read the book but that was the only one I was kind of disappointed otherwise Grand Admiral Thrawn who I love and I feel like kind of got ruined at the uh, Ahsoka show's depiction of him you know I wanted you know like the actor that they used didn't really fit the description from the books you know I felt like they like picked like a oh, I feel like they picked like a fat Asian character for it and to me you know Grand Animal Thrawn is a skinny tall built I don't have to say he's white exactly he's alien so I mean but I mean whatever they picked he's just too too chubby too round and doesn't really depict that very narrow very deliberate thinking strategist it's just kind of like a a lazy character that was in retirement and came back you know it just it didn't fit to me and i'll try my best to enjoy it but i may not but you know i like thrawn because he says he studies he observes and he finds these details that no one else is looking at which i highly appreciate because that's kind of what i do for my job as well so that relatable character is important to me because i see myself with that kind of attitude and thinking. And then also there's a whole bunch of backstory about you know, what Thrawn's really doing and that's in the books. And I don't know if they'll ever really get to that in the shows, hopefully, but we'll see. But yeah, what are your favorites? Let me know. Um, like I said, this isn't like a factual kind of conversation. This is, you know, how is it relatable to you and your experiences? And then what characters do you relate to? And that's this is what it's kind of about it's about you know finding yourself within these characters and then it's relatable and it's or something you've seen or just a storyline that you appreciate where it's going and how it went and so you know i'm sure if we asked a thousand people they'd all have their own ideas on you know the show and how it should go and how the storyline should be and why it would connect with them better and how they think it'd be better so that's what this is kind of about it's kind of that you know what's what stands out to you and why do you enjoy it versus also you know, what you don't enjoy and it's not just to be an asshole it's about to be just you have to be understanding i think it's the hard part this is not not everyone's gonna have the same story and the same opinion hence why it's gonna change and vary but let me know what your thoughts are let me know what speaks to you the most about the whole star wars from the books to the movies to the shows and what you're looking forward to in the future from all those and so yeah, y'all take care. Y'all have fun. We'll keep stocking Star Wars as we do these walks with Oakley. And you can like, comment, share. And I look forward to uh, more episodes. Y'all take care.